Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. I am going to tell you about a book devoted to positive thinking that can help you change your life for the better and become a better version of yourself. This book is called The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale. This book is a self-help classic that has helped millions of people achieve happiness and success in their lives. In this video, I will summarize the main ideas of the book and show you how to apply them in your own life. First, let's look at some interesting facts about this book. The Power of Positive Thinking was written by Norman Vincent Peale, a minister and author who was born in 1898 in Ohio and died in 1993 in New York. He was a pioneer of the theory of positive thinking and a popular motivational speaker. The book was first published in October 1952 by Prentice Hall and has since become one of the best-selling self-help books of all time. It has sold more than 15 million copies worldwide and has been translated into over 40 languages. The book was on the New York Times bestsellers list for 186 weeks, 48 of which were spent in the number one nonfiction spot. It was also endorsed by celebrities such as Ronald Reagan, Richard Nixon, Muhammad Ali, and Oprah Winfrey. The book was inspired by Peel's own experiences of overcoming fear, worry, and insecurity with positive thinking and faith. He also drew from his pastoral work and his interactions with thousands of people who sought his advice and guidance. He wrote the book with the sole objective of helping the reader achieve a happy, satisfying, and worthwhile life. The power of positive thinking is based on the premise that your thoughts have a direct influence on your reality. If you think positively, you will attract positive outcomes and opportunities. If you think negatively, you will create problems and obstacles for yourself. Therefore, the key to living a fulfilling life is to train your mind to think positively and optimistically. The book consists of 15 chapters, each focusing on a different aspect of positive thinking. Given below are five main ideas from this book that I consider especially important. 1. Positive thinking is a habit that can be learned and practiced. Peel argues that most of our problems are caused by negative thoughts that create fear, worry, insecurity, and other negative emotions. These thoughts prevent us from seeing the opportunities and solutions that are available to us. To overcome this, we need to train our mind to think positively and optimistically. Peel suggests various techniques to do this, such as affirmations, visualizations, prayer, meditation, and reading inspirational books and stories. By repeating these techniques daily, we can develop a positive attitude that will help us face any challenge with confidence and faith. 2. Faith in yourself and in God is essential for positive thinking. Peel believes that we are created by God and endowed with His power and potential. Therefore, we have the ability to achieve anything we desire, as long as we believe in ourselves and in God's will for us. Peel advises us to affirm our self worth and self-esteem by saying things like, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, or God is with me and nothing can defeat me. He also encourages us to pray regularly and ask God for guidance and help in every situation. He assures us that God will answer our prayers and provide us with the resources and opportunities we need. 3. Positive thinking can improve your health and well-being. Peel claims that many physical illnesses are caused or aggravated by mental stress and negativity. He says that by thinking positively, we can reduce our stress levels and improve our immune system. He also says that positive thinking can heal our body and mind by activating the natural healing powers within us. He recommends using prayer and meditation to relax our body and mind, and to visualize ourselves as healthy and happy. He also suggests using positive affirmations to overcome bad habits and addictions, such as smoking, drinking, or overeating. 4. Positive thinking can enhance your relationships with others. 
Peel asserts that positive thinking can help us create harmonious and fulfilling relationships with our family, friends, colleagues, and customers. He says that by thinking positively about others, we can attract positive people into our lives and influence them positively as well. He advises us to practice kindness, forgiveness, empathy, gratitude, and generosity towards others. He also warns us to avoid anger, resentment, criticism, gossip, and jealousy, as these emotions can damage our relationships and our own happiness. 5. Positive thinking can help you achieve your goals and dreams. Peel emphasizes that positive thinking is not just a passive state of mind, it is an active force that can help us shape our reality. He says that by thinking positively about our goals and dreams, we can create a clear vision of what we want and how to get it. He also says that by thinking positively about the obstacles and difficulties we face, we can find solutions and overcome them with ease. He urges us to act on our positive thoughts and take action towards our goals every day. He assures us that if we do this consistently, we will achieve success beyond our expectations. In conclusion, the power of positive thinking is not just a book, it is a way of life. It is a system that can help you transform your life for the better by changing your thoughts. By following the author's advice, you can overcome any obstacle, achieve any goal, and live any dream. You can become happier, healthier, wealthier, and more successful than you ever imagined. The only thing that stands between you and your ideal life is your own mind. You have the power to shape your reality with your thoughts. You have the power to create miracles with your faith. You have the power to make a difference with your actions. All you need to do is think positively. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something valuable from it. I encourage you to read the book yourself and practice its techniques regularly. Remember, you are what you think. Think positively and nothing will be impossible for you. Have a wonderful day.